ginormous. So today I'm going to be trying the Beyond Beef Burrito at Chronic Tacos. These guys are right down the street from where I live here in St. George and somebody told me the other day that they had Beyond Beef or they had vegan meat. So I went to check it out and it turns out pretty much everything there can be made vegan. They've got the little heart next to it. So um, today I'm going to be trying the California Burrito and it's huge. Let me show it to you. This is the burrito. It's ginormous. Um, yeah, it's huge. Like, the, when the lady was going to roll it, I was like, there's no way that's all gonna fit in there. It was like a Cafe Rio salad, and then she tried to roll it. And uh, anyways, yeah, somehow she made it work. So I'm excited to try this. It's still warm. Um, so let's give it a go. Here is the burrito. Okay, that's super good. I've never had fries in a burrito, and I thought it was gonna be weird, but this is actually really good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. So yeah, you just have to ask for no cheese and the vegan meat. Chronic Tacos, it looks like it's a chain. It looks pretty legit, a national chain. It's sick because on the screen, I'll show it to you, but my screen is cracked. But next to all the locations that they serve Beyond Meat, they've got a little sticker there that says Beyond Meat to let you know that they're serving Beyond Meat. And that's pretty much all of them. There's a few that still don't have it, but get on these people for uh, serving vegan options. I gotta say, the, the Beyond Beef is really good. Um, the, at Del Taco, when you get the tacos, it's just not super noticeable, it's just, Something about the ground beef that they use, I mean, you can't really notice the flavor of the beef. It Like, it's got so much, so many ingredients in it that you can't really notice, like, how the beef is tasting. But, um, no, I can really notice the beef in this and, um, really, really into it. It's so good, seriously. You can put whatever toppings that you want on it. Um, I put a little bit of lettuce some cilantro, uh, extra guac, and black beans, and white rice. Wow, seriously, it's really good. I didn't get any sauce on it because I didn't know if any of their sauces were vegan. I just went with no sauce, and usually I have ranch sitting around, but right now I don't. But I decided to just go with no sauce, and it does have extra guac, so that helps, but honestly, so much flavor you don't even need ranch like it could be good but it's, it's good without it you know when you're eating and you just get that perfect bite I feel like it's usually when there's guac or like avocado in something and you get like the perfect ratio of like avocado to the rest of whatever you're eating all right well still got another third of it left but I'm gonna save that for later shout out to chronic tacos you guys should go support these people um, just for the fact that they're doing vegan stuff like this is so good. Seriously, so good. I would recommend it for sure. Um, I'd give it out of 10, I'd give it like a solid 8.3, which is like getting up there. As far as being vegan, like vegan food, 10 out of 10, like you get 100% just for being vegan. But um, I do think a little bit of ranch would be good with it. Uh, a little bit of their sauce, if their, if their sauces were vegan, that would make it a lot better which, uh, I mean, can't complain. Nobody really has vegan sauces at the moment. Hopefully in the next couple years we'll see the people doing some uh, vegan mayos at, at fast food locations and whatnot. But the other really good thing is that they didn't charge me extra for the Beyond Meat. Like a lot of places like Carl's Jr. or I don't know if Del Taco does, but usually it's a little bit extra to put the, the Beyond Meat to substitute, but it costs exactly the same price. Probably gonna go back there and try some of the other dishes, maybe some tacos or salads or um, maybe they have enchiladas. I'll, I'll try them all. Buy as much Beyond Meat as possible. <laughs> so, thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, please subscribe. I'm always coming out with videos about uh, vegan food 
or uh, business related stuff. Those are kind of uh, those are kind of the main things. Um, if you like the video, share it, give it a like, comment, and leave me your questions. Tell me what food I should try next. But until next time, you guys take care, and I'll see you soon.